Hey YouTube, it's Lisa, and honest to god, I am the weirdest person ever. I generally am a very weird person. I've been told this ever since I was in like a six, not even six, like the third grade. I'm going to share my most weirdest stories relating to the topic of relationships and crushes just for the sake of the season of Valentine's Day just because like I love Valentine's Day. Let's just have a little throwback here. So story number one is my most favorite, favorite story of all time that I just I can't ever get out of my mind to this day but I'll give you a little bit of background information. So I had the biggest crush on this one guy for four years. This was back in elementary. I just, I'm going to pray that he never watches my videos. I don't know why I had a crush on him because while I was like this tall, he was about like this tall and that difference just, I don't know, my, my friends really questioned me. And the thing is like he's about my height now so, I mean, at the time it was really weird, especially considering that I was in like the fifth grade. I thought this was like my soulmate. <laughs> I was like, he is so attractive. And the thing is, like, I don't even know where it came from. I just saw him outside during recess and I was like, my heart never even talked to him before. He was, um, he's actually a year older than I am. Um, and I don't know, generally, like, I have a thing for older guys. Like, I can never date someone who is a year younger or even now, like, it's awkward for me to date somebody who's, like, my age. Like, at least a year difference makes a difference. Let's call this guy G. I don't know if G knew about me, um, up until, like, the sixth grade because I was one of those kids that were like, oh my god, I want to be so cool, I want to fit in with everybody. But because all the grade sevens had Facebook, I was like, mm, I need Facebook. So I got Facebook and I added him and I was so shy. I was like, I can't talk to him. Um, and he was totally out of my league, but I messaged him and I was like, hi. So like, I don't know, we just, we kind of started becoming friends. Um, like it was always me starting the conversations. I do recall a couple of times that he did message me, but this was just by far the most awkward situation ever. Finally told my friends, I think in seventh or eighth grade, and they were like, OMG. And I was so shy and I was so awkward, like, I was always like tugging on my sleeves, I was always hiding, and like, I thought this was so cool, but my friends and I, we would like put together some dances during recess, and I would like purposely just like move in his direction so that he can like see me as he was playing basketball, and I was like, you know, <laughs> I thought I was like his cheerleader, so that was ridiculous, like, I started like crushing so hard like I would be sleeping like before I would sleep I would literally be thinking of him <laughs> I, don't know. I had a playlist guys so we became friends and everything because it's Valentine's edition I have to include a Valentine's Day story so let's put it this way it was the seventh grade he was in eighth grade and I wanted to be the man I was like you were, were meant to be, I have to show him how much I really care. So homegirl here, went to the mall, bought myself a nice Valentine's Day shirt with a heart on it, thinking I'm like, the crap. Because my mom gave me this mascara and I don't, I can't even explain it, but it would just make your eyelashes like stick like this. And it was so bad. So it looked like I just had like three eyelashes. <laughs> All right, so the week of Valentine's Day, 
I made this whole plan. I put together a video that I was gonna post on YouTube. <laughs> Thank the Lord I didn't. I tried to film, but no matter what, my quality was crap. I was filming off of a Blackberry. <laughs> a blackberry. So instead of this surprise video, I was like, hey, I'm gonna make him a present. So <laughs> I went into my little drawer of like arts and crafts. Um, I was never really an arts and crafts child and still to this day, I cannot art for the sake of my life. Like I can't draw, I can't whatever. Anyway, I put in so much effort into this one card. I took a piece of cardboard um, I started like painting all over it. It took me three days because again, I can't art. And I put so much effort. I was like, you know, he's gonna marry me. And I'm like, I like you. And under that, a list of 10 things that I like about him. And they were the cheesiest things ever. And you know what? I think I even like, I think I have the rough copy. I'm gonna go get it. I was a very messy child, so the paper looks yellow. I love strawberries because they remind me of you. You're really sweet. From all the smiles I've ever seen in my life, yours is the cutest and the one that made me the happiest. You're special to me and always will be. People have made me happy before, but you broke the record for making me smile the longest. Roses are red, violets are blue, all I've said so far is true, and all along I wish you knew. <laughs> I felt this way for two years now. <laughs> Why? Without you, my life would have been a mess. I, I'm scarring myself. <laughs> Number eight, I'd do anything for you. <laughs> I like to look at the stars at night because they light up the sky the way you light up my world. <laughs> Guys, I'm done. I'm so freaking done. That being said, I also went to Walmart and bought him a teddy bear. Or, oh, not a teddy bear. It was like a little dog that's like holding a heart in its mouth. Oh my god. I got to school and told my friend about this. She's his age, so... She's like, okay, I got you, girl. During the time that we were supposed to be out for recess, I was inside holding this card and this teddy bear. I'm gonna call it a teddy bear, I don't care. So I was holding these two things and I was like, oh my God, he's coming. So next thing you know, he's coming in through the doors and my friend is shoving him towards me, like forcing him. And he's just running back. His face is red and he's like, oh my God. And then his friends are in the back and they're laughing. They're like in hysterics. And it was just so embarrassing. Cause I think that like, I think that G already knew that I liked him. Well, duh, obviously. So he's running into the stairwell and he trips and falls. <laughs> he falls. I haven't even given him a gift and I'm like, I was so sad. I was crying that whole day. I came home for two straight hours listening to sad ass music and like thinking it's never gonna be the same. But G messaged me at like five o'clock and he's like, Lisa, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Um, because basically he took the gift from my friend as opposed to just receiving it like directly from me. So, um, yeah, and I was like, oh my god. So I thought I had hope. I messaged him. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. Um, I was thinking, do you want to be more than friends? I had the audacity to say that after I ruined his day, made him feel awkward, and all of that crap. Who am I? His response. Lisa. You're cute and all, but I'm just not ready for girls yet. And really, ever since then, it's just been really weird because, like, I went to his high school um, because of, like, my friends and stuff, but then I suddenly moved on like this. Like, it was just, I don't even know why and how it happened, it just did. Um, so technically, I liked him for three years. 
So I messaged him. I was like, so do you, do you like any girls at school? Cause like we were still friends like while he was in high school and I wasn't. Um, and he's like, nah, how about you? And I was like, yeah, there's so many cute guys here. Guess who never talked to me again? You see, and the thing is, I don't even know if he didn't talk to me ever again because I said that or because like he just didn't want to talk to me, but like he just never ever responded again. So that's the end of that story. Crap, so my parents are still asleep and I'm filming this. Oh. But yeah, so guys, I'm just saying, even though Valentine's Day is coming up, be happy and you know go have fun with family with friends or with valentine good luck with that but yeah just be happy guys and i'll see you soon and thank you so much for watching bye guys